This will be a speed test between the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Now let me know in the comments below what you think about the Z Flip. Do you think this phone will sell like hotcakes? Do you think this phone will be the wave of the future? Mainly due to its footprint. It's small size, when not in use, you can fold this up, does not take up a lot of space, fits in the palm of my hand, I can just wrap my hand around it. Nice and compact, it does make it a little bit thicker, but I think that's a compromise most people are willing to take. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on both at the same time, see which one has a faster boot up, and let's go. Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus versus Samsung Galaxy Z Flip Speed Test. Who's going to win? Let me know in the comments below. Who's going to have the faster boot? Who's going to have the faster boot up? Oh. And this annoying pop up on the uh, Z Flip. Let me know in the comments below which phone won the boot up. And we are in. All right, real quick, let's go ahead and swipe over. These are the apps I'm going to use for this speed test. I'm going to go like this. No recently used apps on both phones. Everything's been cleared. Browsers have been cleared. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. S20. Messages. S20 again. The camera. Do it like this. And again, the S20. What do we got next? This one. Start the clock. Leave that running in the background. Samsung internet on both phones. Ooh, very close. Let's see, what's trending right now? Do a search for the coronavirus. On a side note, hopefully no one Gets this virus, sounds terrible. I wish that on nobody. Okay, can't pinch the zoom on that one. We'll go back and let's go ahead and click on just this next one. Nice and fast. Can we pinch the zoom here? Yes, we can. Nice and smooth on the Z Flip. And nice and fast on the S20 also. Keep in mind, this one has a very fast touch rate and also the option to go 120 hertz. So you can have this buttery smooth on the S20 we're gonna go ahead and click on this one. And practically identical as you can see. Nice and smooth on the S20. Calculator on both. Call that one a draw. Play Store. A little bit faster on the left. All right, let's go ahead and do a search for, or it's already here, just gonna click on it. A little bit faster on the uh, left on that. Click on that. And we're going to install this, see which one will install this app faster, and let's not go. We'll leave it there instead. Amazon shopping. Oh, okay. That was close. That was very close again. You guys are the judges. eBay. Man. You guys let me know. I'm going to buy this right now. Actually, we'll leave it there instead. Super Mario Run. Loading on both phones, a little bit faster on the S20. Tap to begin. Faster on the S20 again. Temple run two. Loading on both, and I think the S20 will win. Yup, give that to the S20. Angry Birds two. Starting up and logging in on the S20. Will the Z catch up? I kind of doubt it, but you never know. And we'll give the win to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus on this one. Asphalt 9. Game Loft. And looks like the S20 is out in front here. And we'll give the win to the S20 Plus. PUBG here. So we'll go check it out. PUBG. And again, looks like the S20 is out in front, loading on the S20. And yep, we'll give the one to the S20. Z Flip still loading. 
and it's finally in. We'll get rid of that little pop-up. We'll get rid of this too. And we'll give the one to S20 on this one. We do have Photoshop here on both phones. And I'll say no to that. It's this image. This is an 8K image. I'm gonna choose Vibrant this time around. So I'm gonna jack this filter up all the way. Wow, look at that. Very contrasty, okay. Click on this and then gonna save on gallery or save to gallery and see which phone will save this faster. And let's go. Oh, taking a while. Okay, a little bit faster on the S20 Plus. Twitter, S20, the gram, S20 again. What is this pop up? That was weird. WhatsApp, S20, and Snapchat. Very close, but slight edge to the S20. Let's take a look at the app switching on both phones. Everything's in the background so you can see. So let's just run through these apps again and let's see what happens. I have a feeling that both phones should just run through these apps again smoothly. I shouldn't see any stutters, but you never know. We'll see. Okay, now on the Photoshop Express, I've been noticing that for some reason, this does not stay in RAM. So my guess is it's gonna reload, but let's find out. And it did reload on both phones. I've noticed that for some reason. Not sure why it's doing that. PUBG, good to go on both. And then we do have the Asphalt 9 again. And then Angry Birds 2. A little bit faster on the S20 Plus to recover, but no actual reload on the Z Flip. And then Temple Run 2. Ready to resume on both. Mario Run. Mario Time on both phones. eBay, same place. Amazon, same place. We'll check the Play Store again. Same place. And then this time, let's go ahead and install this app for real. And let's see which one will install this faster. And let's, you know what? I changed my mind again. We'll just leave it there. Calculator, same place. Internet, good to go clock still running in the background the camera i'm going to pick up both phones so you can see the viewfinder tiny bit faster on the s20 we do have this the messages there you go and finally the phone app boom so let me know in the comments below what you thought about this matchup which phone are you gonna rock the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip or the Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, or S20 Ultra? Now, obviously these phones have a lot of similarities, but also a lot of major differences, mainly on the Galaxy Z Flip. Really, you buy this phone for this feature. Whoops. Boom. I mean, look at the size of this thing. When not in use, you fold it up, you put it in your pocket, very small footprint. It does make the device a little bit thicker, like I said earlier. But again, this is a compromise most people are willing to take. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. With the foldable design, you are gonna have some compromises. As far as durability is concerned, this phone does not have any sort of water resistance, no IP rating on this or anything like that. And also, Samsung's rated this to fold, open and close, 200,000 times, right? Eventually, this thing's gonna wear out and might cause you problems later down the road. So that's something to keep in mind. We have yet to know how long this phone will really last. I guess time will tell. And also the screen. To me, this feels like plastic. Running my fingers through it right now. Definitely feels like plastic and scratches easily as I've seen on some other videos. So again, something to keep in mind. It does fold up, which is nice. However, as far as durability, maybe not the most durable phone. So let me know in the comments below which phone you'd rock Galaxy Z Flip or the S20 series of phones. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.